Welcome to OMFG Network. This is Michael and Craig, and we are going to be installing a second graphics card in an SLI configuration in this computer right here. Let's do this thing. All right, welcome back to my computer. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to install a second graphics card in an SLI configuration. Um, so first things first is well, I guess second things first. What? That doesn't make sense. Here is the other graphics card. But why is this graphics card going on top of this graphics card? The reason is, is you want the more powerful of the graphics cards on top, or at least the one that you feel like putting on top should be there. So when you're installing two cards, you want to make sure that you're using very, very similar cards. In this case, this is a GTX 560 card. So is this one. It is a GTX 560. I'm not sure if that's written there. Yes, it is. Um, it is important that this card not be a 560 Ti or a 550 or a, you know, a different card entirely, like one of the uh, ATI cards. So it is important that they are exactly GTX 560s. Now, this one is overclocked, factory overclocked, different than this one, and that doesn't matter. So um, they just have to have the exact same GPU. Again, 560 Ti, not okay. 560, okay. So, um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to install it. There are a couple things we need to look at first, and obviously I needed to, before I purchased the card, make sure that I had um, obviously a power supply that could handle it. This barely handles it. Might handle it. Might. We're, we're hoping for the best. It's extremely close. Um, if I need to, I will undo and remove the power on my disk drive, because let's be honest with ourselves, disk drives are not overly useful all the time. So the other thing that you need to make sure is you need to make sure you have enough connections. Obviously this first graphics card here takes two of the PCIe power connections, the six pins. Um, I, my power supply only has two, so I'm going to need to use, let me grab it, this adapter here for it, which is a, and I'll open it up here, a six pin to dual four pin peripheral connection. So um, that way I can power it off of my peripherals because it comes with like 10 of them. And why you need 10 of them, I have not figured that out because currently I'm using one for a fan. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, so let's install. We start out by removing these side pins. Now in my case, and every case is different, but in my case, I just push these little buttons, lift them up and remove those pieces. And then I will save those for I don't know exactly why, but I like saving those type of things. So now we actually slip the card into place, and hopefully this will go easier than the last one. Last one, I got a little hung you gotta up. Make sure, do you need to pull that uh, the uh, graphics card pin or no? No. Um, when I'm installing, I do not. So it slides right in when installing. So it's just about making sure that I'm not getting hung up on anything on the right side or the left side for that matter. And there we go, it's in. So now again, as with the other card, we reach these down, we clip these in, and there we go. We have it installed into the location. So now we're going to need to power it up. So here's where we grab our adapters. Throw that bag on the floor. So, um. Obviously, um, cable management is going to be an issue now that I've cluttered up the inside of this pretty heavily, but I will deal with that later on my own because you guys don't need to see me for 20 minutes trying to deal with cables. So um, I will, it will look messy, but I will clean that up later. So I'm going to plug in an, the adapters one at a time. And I yeah, have let's move, let's see. So we plugged the first one into the graphics card, yes. and now we're going to plug in the adapters into the or we peripheral. plugged in the adapter, so now we're going to plug the adapter, or the peripheral inputs into the, into the PCIe adapter. The order of which just doesn't really matter at all, because Correct. it's just the power supply. Yeah, it, you're just giving it power, it just needs to go in. There also is a correct way to plug these in, because you'll notice it's trapezoidal, so I think that's a word. Close and, enough. Uh, um, and I don't know why, but I always have a hard time getting these things in all the way. And again, I have, prior to this video, already pulled those four out and made them available for me to 
easily access. Come on, go in. Trapezoidal. Trapezoidal. And here would be a fast forwarding point on the video. All right. And now we have a graphics card. And so now the fun part, we add the SLI bridge. Now my SLI bridge came with my motherboard. Most motherboards nowadays, if they are equipped for SLI, will come with an SLI bridge that hopefully you can open. There we go. Um, excuse me, a two-way SLI bridge. Um, however, if you're going to do a three-way or four-way SLI, um, you're going to need to purchase that separately. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, now what we do is we pop that, I don't know if you can see that little tab there. Zoom in on here the and to see the tab. So, um, you might want to go at an angle, there you go. So, there it is, it's kind of blurry, but. Yep, but so there's the tab. That's the tab on that card. Zoom down, here's the tab on the second card. And we're gonna have ma matching connections that will slide those tabs onto. Yep. That's your SLI bridge. So then, very simply, slide that on and success. So there you have your SLI bridge based on those two tabs on mm -hmm. our graphics cards. And there we go. We are set up. And hopefully the power supply can handle it. Yay!